spawned in an era of bloodshed, the office of the political ombudsman emerged out of a need to realign Jamaica's priorities. There was a sense that people did not believe that the aspirations of the 1930s and of the early 1960s were being honored and were being realized. So those who died in the strikes and the protests, the people who started the first political parties, the people who negotiated with London for independence, all of that, it seemed, we it's were now burning yes. all of yes, that. Yes. With development models emulated by other governments, political ombudsman Donna Parchment Brown noted that Jamaica's politics and its concomitant effects are what alienates us globally. But yes. so often it's on the negative side. Yes, yes. So that really generated uh, a sense that we were almost becoming an international laughing stock or pariah. Yes. Here we are, a young, independent country with everything going for us, with the most beautiful people in the yes. world, talent, creativity, yes. innovation, entrepreneurship, and we were just stumbling. Yes. Empirical data suggests that there is a trust deficit between ordinary Jamaicans and the political system. In fact, I think the La Pop survey that was done, uh, which would have covered, I think, up to 2016 or 2017, um, had, you know, like in excess of 70% of people who do not trust the system. Um, this, the first LAPOP survey about um, eight, six or eight years ago actually had 87% of the population saying you can't be too careful who you trust. Wow. Often criticized as an office with no teeth, Mrs. Parchment Brown advocates that her office be imbued with more power. This code should be legislated into the Political Ombudsman Interim Act. Yes. And that for some of the breaches here, there should be established penalties for breach. Yes. So would for, you like to see I would established like penalties that would your like office see, can... Yes. I would like to see established penalties that you know beforehand that if you um, put up 40 small signs and they're up after the election and after you've been asked that you're going to be charged $3,000 for each one, and that you're going to have to pay that fine. Marion Mary, Frontline News.